Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I just wanted to change. In 2010 came, and I wanted to evolve. It's still, you know, a connection to the Afro bit, but it's just a new variation on that. And I wanted to give people something new. And sometimes uh, well, people will only see you one way for a while, and they only think one thing of you. And it's not that I don't represent whatever that might mean to people, but there's so many dimensions that I have yet to show people, and there's a lot more to discover, so. It looks great, it really <laughs> does. Hello, baby, you were on my mind. Um, Pink Elephant, to me, is a take on the saying that there's an elephant in the room, right? And if there's an elephant in the room, that's a really big thing. You see it, it stands out, you can't miss it, right? I believe that as individuals, we all have a purpose and a goal in life. And if we embrace that particular thing and we really, really fully wear it, we really are shiny and bright. And you, we stand out and you can't help but see us, much like that pink elephant. And so I think it's important for people to recognize their greatness, embrace it, and, and, and shine so that other people can see it and don't feel like they have to dummy that down. And you know, it's pink because pink is the color of hope and you need hope and promise to do the things that it takes to, you know, do and overcome the obstacles that may come your way doing whatever it is you want to do to achieve your own personal star. So really Pink Elephant is a celebration of everyone's own personal star. Well, a couple of things that, you know, the advantages to doing that, and one, you, you always need a plan. I think when I made albums before, it was a little more happenstance. You kind of just like, ooh, I feel a vibe, <laughs> and this is what it's going to be, right? So it, what happens now is the people ask you what your plan is and how you plan to get that done. And so you come with a plan, and you say, okay, I want to make this album that feels like this and sounds like this. And so you don't just do it random. That's one good thing. And the other part of it is, is you have more hands to help you reach out to more people to get the word out about the music versus doing it on your own. And then also, you don't have to use all your money to do that. So those are a lot of the great things. Plus, you know, you just, it, it, I've built a lot of great relationships because it's a great label with a lot of great people. Stax has a great legacy of music. And historically, they've made music that has lasted and with, withstood the times. And I would like to create music that does that, so I'm glad to be a part of that brand. You don't have to take it out on me. I've been there. So well, I think one of the evolutions for me in being an artist and being a singer and a performer, a writer, has been um, doing things that are more deliberate with a plan, more so. Uh, now, I can't say that collectively this album had a theme throughout each song that con connected like that, but the goal was to try to write each song from beginning to end and have it make sense all the way through so that when someone else listened to a song, they could get the best picture of what it meant to them. The songs in the, that I wrote in this album are really stories of other people's lives and I'm just the narrator telling the stories. So I did those things, and then the goal was really to just develop more as an artist, develop more as a producer, develop more as a writer, and to grow in those areas, grow how I hear the notes, grow how I hear and sing the notes. And so in this album also, I did a lot more up-tempo than I had done before. So that was a new thing and then the goal overall was to create something that had elements of something from the past but was also still connected to something that was new so it was a combination so it doesn't really have a time I wanted to cre some create something again that didn't have a timeline I don't know why I keep Fucking with you when you spend my money well, I, I do believe that there are more than one in Dombey's here. <laughs> you have to have more than one. Uh, one, yeah, definitely the life you have and what you do as an artist on the road and when you're in front of people is one thing. And then totally having a life that's separate of that 
which probably would involve something as simple as taking a walk down the boardwalk to watch the sand and the beach, something like that. It's not that, that intricate going to finally watch a movie or sitting in front of a TV and, you know, with the popcorn, the whole bit, doing that, <laughs> reading a great book, those things are some of the things I get to do in my own spare time. I exercise all the time, though. That's, n that's in spare time or not. I <laughs> so, I, but, I, you know, I do a lot of those things and, and find as many creative outlets to do, like if it be cooking, dancing, or crocheting, whatever it is that inspires me in the moment. And so, do those things. Mind blowing music in and out of my head, leaving me sounds I want to hear. Writing books. Um, actually, I have several things I want to do. Definitely write books. Definitely do some kind of form of um, a, a program that involves the youth. I want to do something like that. My, you know, my gift, my gift back to the community. Mm -hmm. Definitely am interested in doing something with health and fitness in, in, in relationship to me and my people. I think that's important. I uh, want to uh, do some acting, do some, you know, so it's so many things. I, I think about writing the next album, doing those things, continue to practice piano. I mean, a lot of things. Nobody Jones lives on my avenue and there's nothing else that she wants to do. Peace. This is Ndombi and I am a music addict. Except to be a super